Dear students, in an attempt to assist you with the emotions you are experiencing or might be experiencing in the coming weeks, I try to reflect on 2016 Feast Must Fall. On 19 September 2016, I left my office on campus. We returned officially in January 2017. I'm trying to recall how people, including myself, responded during that time. There was obviously anger. We were in different camps and people were angry at each other. This time it is safe to say that we are all in the same camp, but that does not take away many frustrations, which could lead to anger as decisions are made that affect our lives. It is important to remember that we have a very unreasonable enemy, the situation is literally changing every day. Those who make decisions are doing their best given the information and wisdom at hand. I also recall that during 2016, many students and staff simply went into holiday mode for weeks. Many became anxious. What will happen with my degree? Will I have finance to see me through this? Will we have a university next year? Isolation became a real issue. On campus we are used to being in groups, whether it's sitting in class with fellow students or working in the same passage as fellow staff, suddenly that was taken away from us. I experienced students and staff going into different levels of depression. Some students literally went home and gave up on the year. Personally, I became emotionally tired, trying to understand the arguments on both sides as well as continuously reflecting on different scenarios and possible outcomes. In 2020, be aware of the overwhelming amount of information, real, sensational and fake, being thrown at you. So as these experiences become real for you in 2020, it's okay to look for help. Interact with the right people to help you overcome this. This was probably the best advice I got from a foreign academic during 2016. Tell your students, even the best reason you have for not being productive does not help you get time back that was lost. The rest of the world will not wait for you. Except for drinking too much, I went through all the experiences mentioned in this video. So what worked for me? I became active. I compiled a WhatsApp distribution list of my whole class and started communicating with them. I also started making videos on my course content. Today I still use WhatsApp and I have nearly 60 videos covering a full year's content. Just a few other thoughts. After 2016, life on campus was never the same again. There were still many challenges, but we all adapted to be better equipped at dealing with them. Some students that were not coping before Feast Must Fall made productive use of the extra time they were given to catch up. Many told me afterwards that this enabled them to pass that year. Most of my 2016 first years have graduated and are now active in the economy, earning an income. I took this photo on the first day I came back to my office in January 2017.